We're in Backup Exec 15. I'm going to show you how to add storage. So let's go ahead and add a local hard drive. Click on Configure Storage. And if you take a look at our Windows Explorer, we can see that we have a hard drive that's not being used. It's our E drive. So that's what we're going to use for storage. So it's disk-based storage. So click on that. And disk storage. We're not going to be importing a, a legacy disk at this time. And we can call it whatever we want. Disk storage one seems sounds pretty good to me. And it by default picks the E drive, which is nice. You could pick the C drive, but that's what we're actually backing up, so that doesn't make any sense. You could also click on a network share. Click next. Now you can tell it how many concurrent backup jobs you want it to be able to do. And by default, it's going to say uh, two. So you can choose as many as you want. Of course, the more you pick, uh, the slower the backup will be. But uh, you, know, you may want to do it that way. All right, so there's our summary. And we'll go ahead and click Finish. And let's say, hey, if we want to look at more properties, we can. We don't need to. Just click OK. And there's our disk storage. So if you double click on that, you can see you've got the properties of uh, disk storage. Uh, a little bit of information. So it shows the maximum file size is 50 gigs. Well, our drive is only 40 gigs, so <laughs> we're not going to want to have it to be that big. So let's just go ahead and change that to 5 gigabytes. All right, so we've got uh, pre-allocate disk space incrementally up to the maximum file size is disabled. Auto detect block and buffer size enabled. So all these defaults are actually pretty good. I wouldn't bother changing them. It also gives you a low disk warning, which is nice, uh, as well as disk space to reserve. So instead of running out of hard drive space, it will actually save uh, 10 megabytes or whatever it is that you want. Just go ahead and choose. Uh, I like to have one gigabyte free. I think 10 megs is not enough in case you run into problems. All right, so there's a summary down here of what you've got. This is the path to the file. And auto detect settings are enabled and concurrent write sessions uh, set to two, which is fine. Go ahead and click apply. All right, so if we have any active alerts, it'll tell us there. And there's backup sets. So if you decide you have uh, multiple backup devices you want to put into a group, then you can create what's called a backup set. So when it fills up the one drive, it'll just automatically use the next drive. We only have the one drive, so that's not going to work for us. So that is setting up storage uh, to a local drive in Backup Exec 15.